Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we did videos on SQL or other technical topics. Lot of our subscribers wanted a video on SQL again. So today I'm going to do something very simple. I just pulled up some of my travel expenses data. I've been to a few countries in the last few months, in the last couple of years. I have noted them down, the expenses I did during those trips. It's not everything, but it's definitely some of the expenses I have done. So I thought we could use that to answer some questions. I had some questions what I wanted to find. I created those questions. Let's try and answer them using SQL. Here we are going to use BigQuery as usual. If you want to know how to use BigQuery, you can check this uh, link in the description. I have shown you a video where I have also taught you how to use BigQuery. Okay. And I am attaching this data set in the description as well. If you want to try in the future. Right. So I've given this data. As you see, I've been to Spain. Then I've been to Bosnia, Austria, Croatia, Maldives. And also, I guess. Yeah, let me just move to the next page. There's also some data about Slovakia as well, right? These are the countries I've been to. Cool. So I want to answer some business questions here. Okay. Let me straight away dive into the topic. I'm asking myself, find the distinct countries that I have traveled to. Okay. So distinct countries, right? It's a very simple question. So I'll say distinct country from the table. This will show me the distinct countries I have been to. I have been to Spain, Bosnia, Austria, Croatia, Maldives, Slovakia. Okay. That's a very simple question to start out more like a warm up. Okay. I'm also going to just paste the query below this. Okay. Then we have what are the various expense types and the total cost associated with each. Okay. So let me go back to the original data and do a select star. And I noticed there are a lot of categories, right? So let's see the distinct categories first to see what are the possible expenses. And I noticed there is travel, stay, breakfast, lunch, dinner, entrance ticket, metro ticket and lunch. Notice there is some error in the data. I think lunch is coming two times. That's fine. Never mind. We can correct it later. But they're asking the total expenses. So all I have to do is I have to do country, sorry, category and then say sum of cost in euros, right? The total cost. And that's it, right? Then I just group by category. And let me just order by the sum of cost column. So that I see which is the highest, right? I'm going to order it by sum of cost descending. And I notice stay is probably more even more than accom I mean, travel, right? Which is very funny. But uh, stay or accommodation is like the largest expense. Okay. That's a nice insight. So I'll just paste it here. And then there's a question, which was the most expensive category in Spain, right? So let me go back to the data. So it's pretty much the same query. But if I have to find it for Spain, I also have to do before the group by a where condition, right? I have to put where country equal to Spain. I think the sp spelling was like this. And let me run it. Again, in the case of Spain, as you see, stay or accommodation was the most expensive. I spent almost 400. Remember, all this is for two people, not one person. Okay. And the cost is in euros. It's just approximate numbers. So it's again stay, which is been costing me the most. Okay. So this is for Spain. So I'll just copy and paste this here. Okay. And then I'm asking travel was most expensive for which country, right? So in this case, what I have to do is I have to change the where clause, right? So I'll have to basically say category must equal travel. And I'm asking travel was most expensive for which country. So I have to just say country and do the sum of cost in euros. And again, now this time the group I will become country, right? Because I want to see total cost for each country specifically for the travel category. So let me run this. And I got 500 euros for Maldives. Maldives was the most expensive. I flew into Maldives from India. All the other countries I flew from Germany, right? Probably that's why uh, Maldives was a little more expensive. And this was also 2021 20, time. So maybe 
flight prices were more anyways so i'm just going to copy and paste that right so maldives cost me the most in terms of just the travel expenses and then any countries where total food expenses were about 200 okay total expense of all days put together it's also asking me to combine breakfast lunch and dinner okay so let's try that so as i showed you in the beginning right i think there are two lunches right so let's first check them so i'll say select star from this and i am going to write where category equal to lunch the normal lunch and i am getting only three rows okay when i write lunch but with a space then i am getting the remaining rows right so there is one lunch and one lunch with the space we have to combine these two and also consider a breakfast and dinner as well and the question is any countries where total food expense were about 200 right so let's try this so i have to say where so any countries so i will just say country and then sum of cost in euros right because i want to find the total cost anyways and food expenses so i have to say where category in and then we have the categories so we have breakfast we have lunch we have another lunch because there is lunch with a space and then finally we also have dinner right these are the four categories and i'm going to group by country okay let's first run this and see what we get we get uh, multiple countries the food expense in each right they are asking about 200 so we have to write having this sum of cost column right this is a nice use case of the having clause so we'll have to say having sum of cost in euros is greater than 200 right so did any countries cost more than 200 for the food just maldives most of it was below maldives was again like a luxury destination so the food was also expensive but that's the only country right if i just comment this out and let's try to run this again and see and as you see none of the other countries really cost more than 200 okay so this is a nice question gives an idea of where the food was also expensive so i'm going to copy i'm just going to paste the query here okay then which country did i spend the most days that's the next question okay so i think there's a date column so i'm going to just remove this and again it's per country right so i'm going to still group by country and this time i want to find the most days right to do that i have to count the distinct days in each country so i have to just say count of distinct date okay i'm going to run like this and i notice okay i spent the most days actually in spain right four days so that's the place where i spent the most number of days so i'm just going to put that here it's a simple group by and then what was the average cost per day spent in each country this is a bit of a tricky question what it means is whatever the total expense was for that trip divided by how many days i spent there right this ratio is what they want to ask so what what i need to do is i have to actually do the sum of basically the cost in euros right the total divided by the number of distinct dates so that will give me the average value spent per day in that country right so grouping by country is the same i am just doing sum of cost in euros maybe i'll bring this from statement to the next line so i'm doing sum of cost in euros divided by count of distinct date that will give me the average amount spent per day in each country so let me run this and see so as you see we have different values right maldives obviously is the highest so i let me name this as as let's say average spent per day okay and then i can do order by average spent per day descending right that can now give me which country i spent the most amount per day maldives luxury destination 700 plus austria was also expensive spain was close but as you know this croatia bosnia and slovakia were pretty cheap 
right they are mostly eastern european country so relatively expenses are low which kind of makes sense okay and then the final question write a case statement to separate breakfast lunch dinner as food category right and analyze the data so this is just asking for a simple case statement and remember there were two types of lunch columns right L lunch values so i have to write case when category in uh, breakfast right then dinner then lunch and the lunch with the space right then i have to give it a name let's say food okay else i'll name it category let the name stay and say end as new category okay and let me do the total cost okay sum of cost in euros right that was the name of the column and before that i have to make this single quotes right because i am creating the word let's just check this i'm going to remove this and remove the order by right so i'm going to say group by 1 one is nothing but the new category and then cost in euros let's see if this works okay i'm rewriting the category now i get okay food is 819 stay is this much travel is of course 1370 and entrance ticket and metro ticket right these are the categories so i've combined the food overall food cost only 819 across all the trips Right. So food is not that expensive. It's actually travel. And in fact, even more expensive is this day, right? Even travel, you can optimize with budget airlines sometimes in Europe. So this is just a, a way to write a case statement and group by the case statement. Okay. So I think that was the last question. So I'll also try to share the solution file, but download the data, try to practice from your end. As you see, we did a quick revision of group by having where clause, in clause, and also little bit of case statement okay i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in another video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and follow me for more videos stay tuned i'll see you again in another video till then bye